Good afternoon. My name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty. I'm in Salome, Arizona, way outside of my territory here today. Uh, I'm from Mesa, Arizona. Uh, typically sell homes in the retirement communities, uh, 45 and 55 plus communities. But today we're doing a tour of a airplane hangar in Salome, Arizona in the, the air park of Western Sky. So uh, t this is for Tim from uh, Minnesota. So Tim, here's uh, the outside of the hangar here. Really a nice little, uh, nice little area here. Some nice hangers. I suppose there's maybe uh, 15, 20 of them. There's extra lots available for building from what I see. I don't see too many for sale signs on them. But uh, this hangar is finished out really nice. It's a steel building, B&M Steel Company. And uh, really a nice little manufactured home as well. The airport airplane hangar is supposed to be 50 by 50. It's all insulated inside. Uh, just a really nice little area. So here we are. Uh, we're on the uh, south side of this uh, street running up here. And here we are looking to the west. And this is looking across from you here to the north, I do believe. And the town of Salome is uh, just uh, to the east of you here, about a mile. There's a VFW up there, there's a cafe, there's a Napo Auto Parts, um, all kinds of stuff up there in that little town. Neat little town, I'd never been here before, but uh, certainly uh, worth seeing. You got a lot of nice mountains around you, and this place is just uh, pristine condition. Very well taken care of. And uh, we'll take you into this airplane hangar first. Now I don't believe they have any heating and cooling in this hangar, it's just insulated very well. But in the office area they do have a, an AC unit that uh, is cooling, just a wall AC unit that's cooling that uh, little office area. So we step inside the hangar here and they got a little office and uh, book uh, bookshelves. They put in a low ceiling and uh, they got some counters in here and I, again they've got uh, an office desk and a wall unit for an AC. I took lots of pictures of this. And then they just have a bathroom out here. Um, and that's right here. No shower or anything but uh, I suppose you could uh, put one in. Just a simple uh, sink and stool. He's got Quite an aviator. He's got a, a bunch of projects going on in here. But uh, you've got a 200 amp electrical service coming into the side of the building. And we've got steps here going up uh, to an area that's finished off here as well. So we get up to this landing and this room is all finished off up here. He's got some uh, metal fabrication stuff going on up here. And uh, he's got a storage closet back here with some shelving built in. Hopefully we're not making you too dizzy. But again, I took lots of pictures of this as well. We're going to spin you around here. And you can kind of see the size of this. And then over the right below this where this wall is, is he's got a work area uh, where he does a lot of his fabricating but there's a lot of storage. The floor isn't completely finished in that closet door there but that's a pretty good size area too. Probably bigger than this room actually. A little lower ceiling. This uh, steps up and then the ceiling is maybe uh, well six foot through most of it and easy to change some of your wiring. Again, I took lots and lots of pictures here. And then we'll uh, take you back out to the steps and uh, here is the uh, rest of the hangar here.
and then the electrical service comes over here in that corner and then here's looking down into his work area here and that goes under underneath uh, where we just were in this loft area we'll take you back down and show you the rest of this he's got a telephone out here and uh, wired very well he's got uh, six big lights up here and again a nice thick uh, insulation it looks like and then um, on the back side of that little office area he's got a equipment storage room here all shelved out there's that uh, wall AC unit that's cool in that office but this area out in here is not heated and cooled and this is his little work area going underneath there you can see he's uh, got some fuselage here he's he's making nice size hanger very very nice shape here he's got a switch wired for the compressor and he's got some real hoses here and stuff that you know we'd all ask for and he'd probably even have some of this equipment he doesn't have a lot of equipment but he's got plenty of plug-ins along both of these walls And then uh, we'll go ahead and take you into the backyard and inside the manufactured home. I hope this uh, video is helping you out a bit. The slab of concrete looks good. There's a couple of hairline cracks in the cement, but no heaving uh, from what I can see. And this is just a little entrance way into the backyard here. This is all uh, block or bricked. Here's our back deck here. There's no lots behind you. It looks like at some point in time it could be. Those mountains are a ways over there. And uh, you've got an in-ground pool. He's got it all covered here. So I don't know what, what that looks like for sure, but um, we can certainly uh, check that out uh, during our inspection period. And then uh, here is the back of the hangar here that little room over there that's your uh, pool equipment for the there's no heater for the pool but this is just a nice little pool to take a dip in and uh, during the winter time while you're here it probably won't get warm enough to swim in but uh, we sure get some direct sun here because we're facing for the most part south this is that uh, simulated wood here terra decking or whatever I think they call it there's two empty lots to the west of you here before that next hangar and you are right on the corner here and then way over there I think you, you might be able to see the air sock and uh, that's where the landing or the airstrip is so we uh, we come in the back door here and uh, we've got our laundry room right here that door goes into the back side the bathroom of the master bedroom and then uh, Again, this is kind of hard to do off of a video, but we're just going to try and give you a good look inside here. This first uh, couple of little small doors, one's a broom closet, vacuum cleaner closet, and the other's a, a small food pantry. And then we have a 200 amp electrical service in this unit as well. This is all linoleum in here. Very nice shape. You know, I don't see any cracks. The floor seems solid. Uh, and a vaulted ceiling through this whole unit. Nice kitchen here. Um, a Formica countertop here, but the cabinets all look good. Front door there going out. That little area where that archway is, that's kind of your den slash TV room. And then you have a your front living room and this is all vaulted in a couple of different directions look very nice and then here's your kitchen 
Like I said, that was a room that we come into and it has a laundry room there. Really a neat little area, um, kind of a historic little town. Uh, Salome was named after an exotic dancer that um, used to dance in a hall called Dickwick Hall. <laughs> and she uh, was uh, uh, stripped for the Cowboys uh, years back. I'm not quite sure of the years, but uh, that's what it says on uh, Google. Actually, my old neighbor lady, uh, Arizona native, was telling me about that. And I looked it up, and sure enough, you know, there's a lot of retirees, Tim, in this area, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> some old RV parks, you know, it kind of reminds you a little bit of Hope, maybe, Hope, Minnesota, uh, just kind of a little, uh, old little farming community, but not much for, uh, not, not much what I could see for uh, f farms as far as agricultural goes, but uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of cattle. I think there's a buffalo ranch just to the east of you. At least they had a buffalo out in the middle of the field, and I didn't see any of them out uh, right now. But uh, And that's our guest bath. And our guest bedroom is right over there with a nice size uh, deep closet. I don't know if they'd be interested in selling any of the furniture in here. Um, you know, it's all right. It's worn a little bit, so I wouldn't give it uh, personally a whole lot of value. And then uh, there was a full tub and shower in that guest bath, and then there's kind of a garden tub in this uh, master bedroom. And this is nice size. This is a king size bed in here. And then again, I took pictures of the bathroom, but everything looked nice, and you had a nice size uh, walk in closet. Again, vaulted ceiling through this whole area. Kind of a, a quick video of the inside here, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take you back outside here. Really a, a cute little place inside here, and then that uh, hangar, well, speaks for itself. Very, very nice. So this is desert, and it's probably about 70, 75 degrees here today, the uh, 26th of February. And it'll always be warm out here. This is a very nice desert. It took me from where I left today, Tim, about an hour and 45 minutes. That was from uh, downtown uh, uh, Mesa, Arizona. Not necessarily downtown, but I guess more uh, Gilbert, Arizona. And... Uh, it took me about an hour and 45 minutes the way I came. I think uh, the way home back that way might be a little bit shorter for me. Uh, I'll let you know what the what the time frame is there. And I didn't do the mileage because I left, like I said, from a different area than I told you I was going to. But I would say from Sky Harbor Airport and the way I came, it would have been about an hour and a half. Again, Jarl Kubot here with West USA Realty, coming from you, coming at you from uh, Salome, Arizona. Uh, again, Tim, uh, thanks for your call. I hope this uh, video and the extra pictures I've taken uh, helps you out with this unit. We're going to go take a look at the next uh, the next place just down the street from here. And uh, so, again, if you've uh, stumbled into this video looking for uh, Arizona property for yourself, my name is Jarl Kubot with uh, West USA Realty. You can reach me at 480 710 6326. You can visit my websites at www.justjarl.com. That's J U S T J A R L.com. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I look forward to uh, meeting you in person. If you're not Tim, I've already met, <laughs> and uh, look forward to seeing you in the near future. Again, thank you, and uh, Tim, please uh, call with any other questions. Thank you.